The System Dynamics Simulation tool is web-based, which means you can open it from your computer using any modern internet browser. The tool is client-based, so it can run totally from your computer. The tool has a responsive design, meaning it will run smoothly on different screen sizes. Without further delay, let's go directly to the simulation tool. The first thing that you see when you load the simulation tool in your web browser is the initialization page. In this page, you can find some information about the SMR project. Also on this page, you can set the smart stage of your city by clicking the stage button. When you do that, you will get this dialog box. You can click the button that matches your city's smart stage. You can also customize the individual policy's current implementation values using these sliders. Press close at any time to hide this dialog box. You can also decide the default annual budget of your city. Click the default budget button. Enter the decided amount in this dialog box. Press close to hide this dialog box. The system dynamics model, which is the core of the simulation tool, has several parameters. For each SMR policy included in the system dynamics model, there are the policy's full implementation and depletion required times, in addition to the policy's total implementation cost. You can click the settings button to show this dialog box. In this dialog box, you will be allowed to enter these parameters. You can also change the city name from Resilionopolis to any other name. You can also choose your currency. Press close to hide this dialog box. At this point, you have initialized the simulation tool to your city's case. However, when you load the simulation tool at any other time, these customized values will be set back to the default. To save you from entering all these initial values once again, you can just click the Save button to save all these initial values in a file. You can later use the Load Settings button to load this file and reinitialize the simulation tool to your city. To start the simulation, you can click the Start button, which will transfer the display to the simulation page. In the simulation page, you will find the full list of all SMR policies included in the system dynamics model and the simulation tool. These policies are ordered by the SMR dimensions and the smart stage inside the same dimension. You can hover over any of these policies to see a pop-up message with more information about it. Near each policy, you will find a text box where you can enter the amount of money that you would like to spend on this policy. When you do that, you will notice that the amount you have entered subtracted from the annual budget is displayed in the unbudgeted field by the bottom of the screen. This helps you not to exceed the annual budget. You can still see the annual budget to the left of the unbudgeted amount.
There is a possibility to change the annual budget by clicking the annual budget button, which is still displayed in this page too. Press close to hide. By clicking advance one year button, you can advance the simulation one year ahead in the future. You can follow the current simulation year in the bottom left corner of the screen. To be able to see the simulation results, you can click simulation results button, which will move the display to the results page. In the results page, you can see a list of all policies under the first dimension by default. Connected to each policy, you will find two budget fields, available and spent. Available refers to the amount left from what you have devoted to the implementation of this policy, while spent refers to what you have been using till now to really implement this policy. You can think of both fields as what you have transferred to the bank account devoted to this one policy, while the other is what you have withdrawn to implement this policy till now. Please remember that any policy takes some time to get fully implemented. On the top of this policies list, you can find the same available and spent fields for the whole dimension. Just besides this policies list, there is a time behavior graph that shows you the development of this SMR dimensions indicator. In the top left corner, you can see a list of buttons having the first letter of each dimension of the SMR model. Clicking any of these buttons causes the widget next to it to display information related to this dimension only. Sliding this page a little bit to the bottom. You can find a set of four power gauge meters pointing to the current smart stage for each dimension. Next to them, there is a time behavior graph showing the overall spending on all SMR dimensions per year. Let's advance this simulation a little bit to the future. Every four years, the tool will send you a help message to warn you if you have chosen to implement the policies out of the SMR model order. As a matter of fact, if you try to implement any policy before implementing the needed base policies, you will notice that, although the connected actual pie chart for this policy is showing the current implementation value, the effective pie chart will not show that. Only when you implement all preceding policies, the effective pie chart will show the same value as the actual chart. Other than that, your decision's history and detailed results of the current scenario can be shown by clicking Current Scenario Details button. You can print this page or save it as PDF for later discussion with other colleagues. You can go back to the results page 
by clicking the go back button. At any time during the simulation, you can end the current scenario and start a new one by clicking new scenario button. In such a case, all fields will go back to the default value. Only the time behavior graph will be able to display three different scenarios for comparison. If you have more than three scenarios, only the recent ones will be shown. Unless you select a different set by clicking the scenario selector. In the Scenario Selector dialog box, you will be able not only to select scenarios to display, but also you can change their names and display color. You can close the dialog by clicking close. To get help during using this simulation tool, you can at any time click the help button on the top of the page, which will show you a quick guide of this tool.